Wow. Put 200 on the dashboard. Fast car, shawty foreign, need a passport. Yeah, though. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Oli Podcast. I'm Max. Wavy. And we're just going to be talking about whatever we want. Huh. Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> uh, As usual. That was a very clear... Uh, Distinction of you being like, what are you talking about? Look at me. I'll um, my candy too. Well, today, you fellas, ladies, whoever feels like they're inclined to listen in, to tune in, to catch the show, today we're going to be talking about, um, you know, the difference. And when I say the difference, I mean the difference between. <laughs> you made it awkward. All right, like I said, when I say the difference, I mean the difference between winning and losing. And... And, Okay, go ahead, you just keep going. I'm just, I'm just trying to, all I hate see is the difference between winning and losing. You gotta win. You just took all the confidence out of that one, huh? Well, I'm trying to figure out like, what we winning, what we losing. Life in general. Winners do what losers won't. I literally just talked to you about this upstairs. That's kind of what fucks it up to me. I'm like, damn, what's up? No, I just saw you put it just now. It just had me in a different mind. So just like, oh. I was trying to be like creative and like do an intro. I feel you. I really did. And you what did you what you, you really did what winners do. You did it well. But you didn't, you were like, you made that shit real, like, uh, well, I'm not, like, just, because I'm going to still post this. Motherfuckers going to see us talking about this, so. Okay. Just like, I yeah. don't have an issue with that. I mean. You just made it a little awkward. You, you kind of made it sound awkward, so you made me feel awkward with it. Even I made it I sound of... awkward because I'm not normally like that, because I'm not normally trying to do intros. Is that why it's awkward? I mean, is this what you want to spend 10 minutes talking about? No, I want to talk about winning and losers, and winners do what losers won't. But okay, so winners, let's talk about that. Or do you want to keep talking about this? <laughs> I mean, I was trying to talk about that. Mm, anywho, so as we're talking about winners do what losers won't. When it comes to winning, I believe throughout your entire life, you will have different challenges and you will have to put yourself in different situations of winning because every person that you have to defeat is not the same. You're going to meet people who would expect certain things out of you in order to reach different places in life. So I tried to explain this to him the other day and I explained it like Mortal Kombat. When you're playing that game, when you're playing to get to the top of the tower, you don't beat the same player all the time you have different players and you have to use different strategies in order to get to the next level so you know you may have a boss who you have to be extra um shit he like people who are aggressive so you have to have an assertiveness towards you or you meet may meet someone who prefers that you're feminine, you're doing business with a feminine person. Don't mean that you have to be doing business with uh, a company. It could, it could be your own business. You could be an entrepreneur doing your own thing, but you're going to have to work with people. Your business is not about you and you alone. So when it comes to winning, I think throughout life, as he said, winners do what losers won't. So you would have the extra hours you work, but you all still need to take in consideration who or what the game is you're playing. Because all games aren't the same. Yeah, well said. Yeah. Who and what game you playing? I definitely know what game you playing, and you always got to win at the game of life, but there are different games in life. So you definitely got to know what game you playing. But for the most part, I'm talking about when I say winners do what losers want. I'm talking about that determination, that discipline, that, evo- that extra level of motivation you have in life in general to obtain the goal in which you want to obtain, whatever that may be. I don't know what your goal is, bro, whatever you want to do. But you got to understand that at the end of the day, somebody else wants to achieve this goal. Somebody else may want this more than you or, it, you know, that's up to you. Does somebody want it more than you? Does somebody want to work harder than you? Do you feel like you're the type of person who could do it 
I mean that's I mean that's exactly what the the um the saying is saying is basically you know if if you're not gonna do it someone else will and that the next person who decides to actually take that next step or to take that initiative or to actually decide to put in the work and which in which you weren't willing to do that person it will be the winner and out of all of this you know what i'm saying so so i got um your dad when i first God finished damn, why you gotta bring up my dad because bro, he, he kind of he kind of did instill something in me i did not have a work ethic when i first first finished school and um he i think something happened and he told you you have to ing in life you have to be doing something mm -hmm. and i really do respect that because as a kid you grow and in your youth but in you, your you're teens, growing he said you yeah. got to ing in life he didn't really mean that meant just you got to be doing he just meant that no matter what you're doing in life you're you got to be doing it has to be an ing in life so you're doing you're growing you're working I, you're I, proving i i, you're, I, I, I you know understand that that's why i brought it up yeah so i i brought that up because you just change with age and you you learn differently so when I first got out of school, I was just learning the ethic of doing the inging part. Now, you know, I have a different drive and motivation about what and how I carry myself in life and my achievements or what I would like to get out of it. So you have a little more umph in what you do, how you see things, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's just kind of cool seeing the progression because I, from my eyes, that was my first point of realizing like I'm an adult. And I, I have to do for myself because if I don't, no one else is. And you are doing. Yeah. And that wraps up the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> please like and subscribe for the next episode. If you want the notifications, please hit the bell at the bottom. We're here all day, baby.